new details now developing tonight in the murder of Jennifer Brown. The Montgomery County District Attorney announcing the arrest of Blair Watts, her former business partner. Watts is actually the person who reported her missing originally. Here's our Jennifer Lee. As you piece this together, it all just keeps pointing back um, to, to Blair Watts. A supposed friend and business partner, Blair Watts, reported Jennifer Brown missing on January 4th, and now 37 days later, he's behind bars for her murder. We believe Jennifer Brown was murdered in her own home, uh, that she was then moved um, and ultimately buried in a shallow grave where she was found two weeks later. The 39-page criminal complaint details the mountain of evidence from interviews and cell phone data connecting Brown's cell phone to Watts's and even the use of a canine in two vehicles linked to Watts. Meaning the human remains had previously been in each of the two Jeeps known to be driven by Watts. Brown and Watts were planning the reopening of a restaurant called Birdie's Kitchen. Detectives examined Brown's computer tablet and found thousands of dollars in transfers to accounts belonging to Watts. And a day later, Watts went to put down a lease on a property for the restaurant. So $17,000, um, we believe shortly uh, after her, her death, is transferred you know, by the defendant um, to himself. Detectives believe the 43-year-old mother was killed in her own home after finding pieces of her broken hair clip. When you piece them together, you know, it forms the hair clip um, that, you know, detectives found, you know, at the home and they found in the grave. The community came together in solidarity searching for Brown and any information related to her disappearance and then in support of her eight-year-old son. It's, it's been hard. It's really been difficult, um, you know, to lose her. It really, ha truly has. How do you, you know, say to him, as young as he is, uh, you know, your mother is never coming back. The DA says Watts claimed he was having a planned sleepover with Brown's eight-year-old son on the night she was last seen alive. The next day at school, the boy's teacher says it was highly unusual as Brown would never send her son to school without his daily medication. We can continue to work hard on this, this case to bring justice to this, this family, um, to this little boy um, who doesn't have a mother now because of uh, Blair Watts' actions. And Watts is facing multiple charges, including first and third degree murder. He is being held without bail. And now the Montgomery County DA's office is preparing to go to trial. Jason. Jennifer Lee, thank you very much.